Welcome back, Slam Kids. Today we're going to have another episode of Slam Kids TV. I'm so excited about today. We're going to start off with a song called Happy Day. Get up and let's dance together. That was tons of fun. Stay tuned for some more Slam Kids TV. Hey, Slam Kids. Can you believe we're on week four of our Big Give devotions already? Man, time flies. All right, so grab your take-home paper. Remember, if you don't have it, you can always print it, download it from the website, and then print it out so you can have it and, um, re and, and do it with me. So always um, on our devotions, it tells us to start off with reading our Bibles because it's so important to read God's Word. So on day one of week four, it says to read 1 John 4, 9. And remember that there are... Um, there's a first John and there's also just a John, okay? So we want to make sure that we find first John, not just the, um, the gospel John, okay? Now the gospel John is one of the first books in the New Testament, but that's not the one we're looking for right now. Right now we're looking for first John, and you can see there's first, second, and third John at the very, very back of your Bible, at the end of the New Testament. So turn to the back of your Bible and find first John. You can look in the table of contents to find 1 John if you need to. Now, our take-home paper is telling us that we should read 1 John chapter 4. The, the chapters are, are pretty short in 1 John, so make sure you don't skip over it. 
but we're looking for big number four. And then it says also inside of chapter four that we're looking for verse nine. Now, so skip down to verse nine within chapter four. Okay, if you need another minute to find it, you just hit pause and then read it when you're ready. All right, here we go. It says, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 9. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. You know, that kind of sounds like our memory verse, John 3, 16. Let's read it one more time. 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. God showed how much he loved us. He loved us a lot because he sent his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. What an awesome scripture. So now, grab your take home paper again. And again, we're looking at day one of week four. And it says at the top, draw a line from each language to the phrase you think matches. All right, now there's some crazy looking words on here that I don't recognize because they're in other languages. You know, I think I have a globe somewhere around here. Woo, got it. All right, there are so many different languages, so many different languages all over the world. We have a few here on our paper, and what we wanna do is we wanna match the language to which um, phrase is that language. You try it out, it might be just a guess, but that's okay, go ahead and draw the lines and match them up. Then at the bottom, it says, do you know what all of those phrases mean? If you guessed I love you, then you are right. These are just a handful of the ways to tell someone that you love them. Considering there are around 7,000 languages in our world, that means there are more than 7,000 ways to say I love you but add in all the ways to show that you love someone, there's no way to even be able to count all the ways someone can communicate these three little words, I love you. And all the millions of ways to say and show I love you, one stands out far above the rest, and it's that God sent his one and his only son into our world. Drop my pick on paper, it's all good. God sent his one and only son into the world to save us from our sins or the wrong things that we've done and to give us new life in him. So remember, he didn't just send Jesus for us, not just our area of the world, but the whole world, all these different people that, who speak all these different languages. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So now that you've done your activity at the bottom, it says, thank God for not just saying that he loves us, but for showing it too. Now, if you can see at the very bottom, it does have the answers. It's a little bit hard to read, but I think you can probably figure it out and it's in order. The answers of which languages are, are saying, I love you. All right, now let's thank God for not just saying that he loves us, but for showing it to us by sending us his one and only son. He loved us so much that he sent us Jesus. So let's thank him now for that. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just love you so much. You are so awesome. We thank you that you loved us enough to send us Jesus. God, we thank you that you didn't just say, hey, I love you. No, you showed us how much you loved us by sending us Jesus, our rescuer, the person that we needed the most, our savior, so that our sins could be wiped away and we could be washed clean. We thank you for Jesus and we thank you for showing us how much you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey Slam Kids, this is a really awesome song. It's called Supernatural. So wherever you are, just stand up on your feet and let's get ready to dance and worship our God.
Great job, you guys. Stay tuned for some more Slam Kids TV. Hey, Slam Kids, let's do a worship song together. So wherever you are, stand up and let's just um, focus on him. It's, this song is called Be Glorified. Let's sing it to God today. together. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you so much. Lord, we just want you to be glorified in our lives. Lord, we want to shine your light so others in our lives can see your great light. Lord, help us to shine you through everything that we do and everything that we say. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen.